Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go ahead and update Bitcoin just because uh, I've been looking at, you know, YouTube and Twitter and it just seems like there's nothing in between Bitcoin. It's either going down to 10K or it's going to do a moonshot, right? You know, it's like nothing in between, guys. Here's the deal. Here's what, uh, you know, I'm just patiently waiting. You take a look at Bitcoin in this section right here, guys, you know, like on the daily chart. All you got to do is come down here to this RSI, okay? And you see up at that peak, you can see it's still in the same trend, okay? So once the RSI, it's, it might hit the side of that trend right there and come back down, drop farther, or it might pop over that and then do a little uptrend. So there are signals saying that Bitcoin might do a pop to like 28.5 or something like that, okay, in this area, but just not going to know until it does it, okay? Uh, I don't think there's going to be a uh, a shot up to 32 or 34 or anything like that. I mean... You know, maybe there will be personally. I, I, I don't hope so that that's going to happen because I would rather see just Bitcoin get this correction done right here off of this impulse and then go into the next impulse. Because, you know, if it goes up like this, if you want it to go up to here, well, now you're going to be looking at maybe this is the fifth wave and get reevaluate and it's up here. And now you're looking at uh, finishing this and then now longer correction even over here. So if this is it, let's get this correction done is the way I see that, guys. Okay. Um, so in the meantime, with the altcoins, guys, what I would do is this is what I'm doing. Not nah, financial advice. I'm just waiting for probably the next two or three weeks and checking out some coins and then seeing if I can uh, slide in with a uh, a lower price DCA because I think it's, you know, Bitcoin's going to be trending down. So here's what could happen. Let's say Bitcoin pops up to 28.5, right? So Ethereum's going to pop up. So some of these ones are possibly have done a correction. You're going to see them pop. OK, but they're going to come back down, guys. So that's what I would be looking for on the uh, altcoins, which which coins are coming down and do a pop. So as an example, I'm going to go to uh, Quant Crypto. A lot of people want to know about Quant. Well, here's Quant. And it's just it's going to sit in this area, maybe come down a little bit more. And it's just it's in this uh, ending fifth wave creep. OK, that's what I call it. They They do it down and they do it up. So. This whole thing right here is just going down, down, down. And it's wasting time to wherever it's going to finish that correction. They do it upward too. They go like this. They just keep going up and up. And you're wondering when it's going to end just like that. And then eventually you see it come out and it finally ends. And then over here with quant, what you might see is some reactions off the bottom and it'll come back down like that, guys. That's what I'd be looking for. I would not mess with quant until you see a reaction off of this area that it's in, somewhere in this area. It's coming up to finish that correction. The deal is with quant, it's probably not going to get ready to do anything until Bitcoin and Ethereum are probably going to, particularly Ethereum, get ready to do something there, guys. So that's what I would do. I want to give that quick, quick update. I still think, uh, well, I believe, I guess you should say that it's going to be in this multi-week downtrend, looking at somewhere the mid uh, middle of June. Um, it might be as early as one week, the first week of June. I just don't know yet, you know, but generally speaking, it's going to be probably, you know, here's the 28th of June, just basically in this, this area, guys. Okay. Now I have different various targets. It's just going to depend on how this is going to unfold, guys. It could depend on various things. Okay. To get an, an idea. If this is a three wave swing, how high is that going to go? It's going to depend on how high it's going to, how low it's going to go over here or if how uh, shallow it is on a retrace is going to depend on how deep it's going to go. But I do have these targets, um, the 25.1, the uh, 24.6, also 24.3, and I'll deep down into here, 23.371, and also down to 22 flat with potential wicks down into the 21s, guys. Okay, that is a, that's a probability. And I think it would be at this point, since it's getting long and drawn out and everybody's getting bored out of the market, right? Because... Bitcoin no longer going up, so other coins aren't going up. Is to be done here, right here. This one, two, three, four, and it went up for a five to get done with this back down here and get ready for this section. You're gonna have about a month wait, in my opinion, guys. Okay. Um, in the meantime, you know, um, I said like I said in previous videos that I'm if it pops up here to like twenty eight five or twenty nine, I'll be looking for a short going down here. I'm not gonna in, go into anything right here with that, guys. Okay. So, but what I'm doing with Bitcoin, okay is I, I uh, picked up Bitcoin at 25, um, 25, 8, 25.9, I think was what it was. I picked it up, 25.9. It's coming back down to 25 flat, as an example. 
right this area, the bottom of that uh, box target that I have, I'm going to be picking up more right there and all the way back down here. I'm going to DCA down because I think the upswing is going to be uh, pretty aggressive on this side, guys, instead of trying to get everything at the same bottom, okay? Just ever so, you know, ever just DCA, DCA, and as it goes down, get maybe a little bit more aggressive with it into these areas and see how all this unfolds. I wanted to give that update, guys, of what's going on because – out there on Twitter and out there on YouTube, it's either moonshot or it's or it's going down 10k, and there's really nobody putting anything. You know, the, the the parabolic move is still on there and stuff like that. And look, at the end of the day, if this, you know, if it's done right here and it does do a parabolic move, hey, I'm prepared for that just in case. Still have the coins, still have Bitcoin, still have Ethereum, just in case that does happen. But I don't think that's probable, guys. I really don't think that's probable. Okay. Uh, I think some of these uh, other assets still need to do a correction a little bit, like Binance Coin, Ethereum need to do a correction a little bit more, pro uh, probably, you know, total to uh, the DXY is trending up and the uh, USDT dominance, which I went over, I think is still going to be trending up. So if DXY is going up, USDT dominance probably going up. That means Bitcoin's probably going down too. So here we go with the uh, S&P 500. Uh Hopefully right there is the uh, beginning or that uh, section where it's going to start doing a correction in this area, guys. OK, so the S&P 500, I'm going to go over the count that I think that is going to be. I looked at the S&P 500 counts and they're the same thing. It's the same thing. This is either super bullish or it's going down to the depths, right? Nothing in between, really. Nothing in between. So this is what I think that it is right here, guys, to give you an idea. This is why I'm bullish on Bitcoin for the rest of uh, 2023 and probably going into the beginning of 2024, that time frame, okay? Bullish on Bitcoin is because right here, right here, you have you have a, a wave and then you have a massive correction right there. ABC correction is 335, flat. 335, flat, okay? And then in this section right over here, you do have a, uh, I think it's a five-wave impulse, three, three, and I prefer to see... Uh, five wave swing back down there to correct this leg. Okay. So let me erase all that. So over here, in my opinion, is a five wave move of the C leg to come back down to correct it. And there will be another move, probably not 1.618 the length of time of this leg. Okay. It's probably going to be about one to one. It would be my estimate just because that's usually what the S&P likes to do. It has to be really, really bullish, start hitting those 1.618 like crypto does. You know what I'm saying? So you got to lower it down. So it could be one, two, three, maybe a four and a five or an A, B, and a C is what I think is going to be going on, guys. Something like that. Okay. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And those bullish guys are correct. And this is one, two. This will be three, four, and five to all-time highs. Okay. I don't think so, but it remains to be seen. Let's see how this is all going to unfold. I would not be surprised that if it goes up to these areas and it does a correction over here, and this is all wave two, that it still maintains that uh, 3,500 3, basically on Bitcoin or on the S&P 500, excuse me. But however, if the S&P is going to do a correction and start making its way back up into those areas, Pretty much be assured once Bitcoin's done with this correction, it's probably going to go bullish again, guys, in my opinion. So I think with what the S&P 500 is doing and the NASDAQ is doing after their corrections, they have a little bit more time um, for the next couple months going into October, November, December. Don't know the time frame yet for those where it's going to end, possibly January. If they're going to be tre trekking up, you got a good shot that Bitcoin could be doing the same thing too, Okay. It's going to be a wait, guys. Look, I'm not going to BS you around any time. It's going to be a wait probably for the rest of the month and a good part the first half of June for Bitcoin to take its uh, get the correction done and be over over with it and then start doing a new uptrend. Um, you know, that's just part of the process, guys. It's not going to be as long as this one, okay? This was a nine-month wave to correction over there guys okay at least it's not going to be that long at least it shouldn't be that long because this wave is only uh this is one third the length of this wave this is a 300 percent move and this was about a hundred percent move okay and my confidence on that is pretty high that bitcoin did that 
because if you take a look at GBTC, GBTC, it bounced it off that right here. GBTC did a, a five wave move off the bottom with an extended fifth wave. And it's over here correcting this whole leg too. Okay. And it's the same thing here. This leg is uh, much bigger than this leg over here. It's correcting it to make a move up this way, guys. Okay. Um, worst case scenario for GBTC is it could come back down, all the way back down and touch that trend and have a massive correction. So I don't know if it's going to go all the way down there. I suspect it's going to be in this territory, this wave four territory that it moved that it did over here, guys. It just all depends how this plays out. If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.